In today's video, I am going to teach you how to play the six hole ocarina, which should look like this. Before we get started, I did want to remind you that if you are looking for a new ocarina, you can go to stlocarina.com and use my code Gina for 10% off your entire order. Now again, this is the six hole ocarina. There is also a 12 hole ocarina. Most of my tutorials are using the 12 hole ocarina. So definitely if you're interested in those, you can check out my channel for more videos. The ocarina that I am demonstrating on today is a plastic six hole ocarina from STL Ocarina. Let's first learn how to make a good sound on the ocarina. Given that the ocarina is a wind instrument, it's very important for us to concentrate on our breathing. You'll want to take a nice deep breath in before you start playing. Now to produce a sound on the ocarina, this is the top of the ocarina. You'll notice there is a hole right there, and that's where you will be blowing into. Don't worry about any of the fingers for right now. Our next step is to pretend that we're saying who, and we're going to do that right here, and it should sound like this. Let's try it together. Now for a more advanced start to the note, you can do what is called articulating, which basically gives you a more abrupt start to the note. And the way that you do that is you say two while you blow into your instrument, and it sounds like this. So let's hear those two back to back. So who versus two. And this is two. And you should notice that one sounds kind of like a kind of sound, and the other one has a little bit more of an abrupt start to the note. Now it doesn't matter which one you want to start with, whatever feels most comfortable to you, eventually you will want to learn how to articulate and go to. Now let's learn how to hold our ocarina. So this is the front, you'll notice there are four holes here. There is also a little hole here as well as here. Those we are not using today, that's actually for a neck strap. I would highly suggest when you're starting out to use that until you become more familiar and more comfortable with the ocarina. Now, of course, this is the back, and this right here, this is where our air is coming out, so we're not actually going to put any fingers over that hole. But let's flip it around back to the front, and the way that we're going to hold that is our pointer finger on our left hand goes on this first hole, and our middle finger goes on the second hole. Now on our right hand, we're going to put our pointer finger on that first hole and our middle finger on that hole. Now for the back, our thumb is going to cover the left and our right thumb is going to cover the right and it should look like this. Let's play that together and hear what that sounds like. Now let's learn the different notes on the ocarina. If you are new to the ocarina and to music and you don't know what a note is or the importance of a note, that's absolutely okay. Basically, a note corresponds to a different pitch. So if you have seen a piano and there's different keys, each one of those keys is a different note and a different pitch going up and going back down. By knowing these different notes, it will allow you to play different songs, whether it's you learning by ear, if you're learning with sheet music, or you're learning with tabs. Now the placement that we just learned of our hands, so both thumbs down on the back and our pointer and middle fingers down on the front is a low C. So again, it sounds like this. To play a D, which is the next note up, we're going to lift our middle right finger. So this one on the bottom. And for an E, we're going to put that back down and pull up our pointer finger. So you basically just flip those two. And for an F, we're going to lift both of these fingers. So we'll have both of them up. Keep your thumbs down on the back. Let's try that together again from the top. So this is a C, everything down. D, lift our middle finger. Put it back down and replace it like this, lift both fingers for an F, our next note is a G, so we're going to lift this finger and put this one on top down, that is a G, for an A we're going to lift our right pointer finger, and for a B we're going to lift this finger and put this one on our right hand down. And for a C, we're going to lift everything from the front, keeping those thumbs down. So let's go over those couple notes again. So we're going to start on a G, which is the top two down. 
and A, lift this finger here. For B, put our middle finger down on our right hand. And for C, lift everything except your thumbs. And for our last two notes, we're going to lift our left thumb like this and just keeping our right thumb down. And this is a D. And you guessed it, lift your right thumb so everything off for a high E. Okay, let's put that scale all together. So let's start on that low C, everything down. For a D, lift our middle finger. Replace that like this, have our pointer finger up. For an E, for F, lift our right hand entirely other than our thumb. For G, we're going to lift this finger and put this one back down. For A, we're going to lift this finger. For B, lift and put this one back down on our right hand. For C, everything up on the front. For D, lift your left thumb. And for E, everything up. Now, I'm not going to give you direction. I just want you to follow my fingers and let's see how we are able to do. Starting with the low C, everything down. Amazing job, we went through the entire scale. One thing I did want to mention to you is that if you notice, my fingers were kind of in the stratosphere, and that was because I wanted to make it very obvious what I was doing with my hands to be able to teach you how to play the ocarina. Now, once you get more comfortable, I would suggest actually not putting your fingers up like I was. I would instead keep them closer to the holes, and that's going to improve your accuracy and your speed. And especially with accuracy, what's really difficult is when you start putting them back down again, it's hard to remember exactly where the hole is. So if your fingers are kind of hovering a little bit more above the hole, your accuracy is going to be so much better. And again, it's going to increase your speed as well. But just make sure that while you're doing this, that the hole is not covered at all. Well, I hope this video helped you get started on the six hole ocarina. And please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much to STL Ocarina for making the series possible. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future Ocarina videos. And you can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. And I want to wish you the best of luck on your Ocarina journey.